Oops. My captions turned off. None of the weird yes. shit we said actually did get caught by them. I'm gonna say the last thing was, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I was oh dear. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait, my coffee. There's my coffee. matcha. There we go. <laughs> Important. I'm not drinking matcha, I'm drinking decaffeinated fruit iced tea in Sprite. Oh. I just remembered I have to take my stupid gummies that taste awful. Yeah, take your nasty gummies, get some water. I have maple syrup and day old blah blah blah. <laughs> why <laughs> why why do you have maple syrup? Uh because we have pancake Hi. dogs for breakfast. It's Zoe Castillo again. <laughs> May I come in? Of course. <coughs> I forgot the fringe was like cool now. Forgot about the camera. <laughs> oh. oh, let's uh, wiggle around. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And no, not yet. But I have a lead. I feel like telling good, everyone we fine. meet he that Reza's like nice Jericho guy. is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. You probably went by a code name for a reason, honey. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it was just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. I love Charlie. Uh, maybe what's his face is upstairs, or maybe I need to talk to the the lady. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Quiet. Oh, the place that's a mean quiet, thing to it? say. This <laughs> is a cocktail lounge, not a cafe. Right now it's the middle of the afternoon. Things heat up around midnight, and everyone stays until sunup. That right. is not the voice I, I was like expecting this. from that model. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was like, maybe let's see if I can get up these fucking stairs. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. Don't open it. If you want anything, you'll have to talk to Charlie over there. Uh, okay. is there? Yes, is there a, uh, no. like, a journal that we can skim to see what the last hint was? Uh, we were, like, literally just showed out by that smarmy man. Um, and then we were like, okay, meet us at the fringe. When you have found stuff out. Yeah? Um, okay. Uh... Oh no. Uh, it says <laughs> to show Charlie a picture. Oh, we've. We... Okay. I don't remember getting a picture. But... Oh god, what was the. Uh. What was uh... the inventory button? Ah, there we are. Oh, it was the picture of him and uh Did you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? And April. Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the oh, hotel. Right. Room two oh one. I found it in the closet and I think I'm gonna get home. my kitty blanket really I mean, quick. That is you, Hi Jack, right? I love you. Ten years and a Hi, lifetime Jack. ago. Yeah. I can't believe that graph would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room 10 years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Thank you. Yeah. 
Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got yeah, mixed up a with something. creepy ghost April child. Back in 09, just days before the <laughs> Said her name a bunch of times. Time searching for her before, yeah. <laughs> before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks uh, April's alive and out there. Somewhere. Why wouldn't Emma's like, the other girl in the picture? Yeah, they were the two best. April told ever them everything, I right? How come she couldn't just go? I have April. work to do. In Arcadia, say that I'm sorry. <laughs> share Emma's faith in <laughs> miracles. Because uh, uh, you yeah. know. Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. I, I think this is our only option. I need to know, Charlie. I think there may be a connection between April Ryan and whatever Reza was investigating. What? Are you serious? This is gonna sound crazy. Can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things. On screens. Back in Casablanca, at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case. But I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape. A strange black house. A girl. Oh, I know it sounds completely insane. But the girl, she speaks to me. Directly to me. Through the screen. Find her. Save her. At first, that was all she said. And then, find April Ryan. Find April. Save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel. It's really I freaky the how they there. don't move the models she at all while they talk. The room, to the closet where yeah. I found the picture. Jesus. <laughs> like, if you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick <laughs> joke, it's fine when he's like looking up and down, and then when he stops completely. Please. About what? Can you stick around? It's very 2010. <laughs> I'm sure Emma will hop on the first backtracks or scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, oh. the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. <coughs> I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, though. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to Very strange anyway. circumstances, like Marcus. <laughs> getting your friends shot. Marcus. This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyst in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, he's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. I anyway, don't think Marcus, Marcus was in the first game. I... For a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. <laughs> this is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out Jack, the day you were born I'll make sure was the, put on the, the most list. beautiful day in the world. I'm gonna go call Emma. And then I need to take care of some Angels business, but cried. you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi is the best in town. Find yourself a table, and I'll have someone take care <laughs> Imagine of. not having Thank eaten you. in like two Wait, days, and someone's Charlie? like, oh, yeah. have some sashimi. <laughs> okay. He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. It'll be fine. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> oh, I hate to see him leave. Love to watch him go. This little <laughs> penguin walk. <gasps> look at that dude's Jordi LaForge glasses. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These are some individuals, let me tell you. Those are some I... designs that we'd see <laughs> on, like, plastic cups. Why? Okay. In, like, 
2300. Why do the women wear like normal cocktail dresses and then the men wear that? And that's everything. <laughs> I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April Ryan, but it is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe. Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know. Damn, anything. Emma, your hair looking sorry, bad, Charles. girl. <laughs> Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah, yeah, I did. She disappeared under some that was not very strange breath. circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out, and that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back. They in. haven't explained to us what the collapse was yet. <laughs> April was oh. gone, vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe. You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds. And that she would need it. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one. Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us. She's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head, and... I know, Charlie. And she shot this herself into okay. a black hole. I know, I can feel it. I've done a yep. lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy, delusional. You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine, ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse. Strange things, like... like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back... Everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me. I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. I really okay, don't so think that Emma right. would have been the one to Thanks actually believe her. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they forgot who doubted her. In Arcadia. the first game. <laughs> From what I know, it doesn't yeah. seem like Arcadia. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Knows? Thank you. The question is, who is the little girl, and why is she we have, to uh, you? Inspection all, on Tuesday. You didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant yeah. nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, but I get the keys on Halloween. April's name. <laughs> it seems improbable, I know, but. I would have liked to like the story he's working decorate a house for Halloween for the it. first time, but that's Stand just my normal decor, thinking. so. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. I'm afraid that they're gonna, like, send Marcus up and he's gonna be creepy while we're alone. 
Yeah. But can can we talk about for a second the fact that they definitely mixed up who trusted April? Yeah. <laughs> from the first like, game. Emma was like, "Oh, girl, you're crazy. I don't believe anything you say. You should just you should get laid." <laughs> yeah, she was she was not a good friend. Like from the start, she was like, "Oh my god, you're just crazy. Uh huh. You're lying to me. You're just seeing dreams. You're seeing you're painting dragons. You're fucking lame." And then Charlie was the very nice, oh, we have to believe her, like, she has no reason to lie to us, Oops. blah, blah, blah. From the beginning. Yeah. Like, Charlie had a crush on I April? If I remember correctly, uh, and so he was like, right yeah, I believe Hi. you, you wouldn't lie it's to me. me again. I mean, I met Charlie, and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter, and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Ugh. Hey, got God, I hate him. People. I hate him. Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient. Cause I brought some friends along, and they'd love to say Oh. In private. Oh no. It's the. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna have to fight them. <coughs> I'm sorry. She just straight neck chopped us. Oh wait, wait. She stabbed us. I I think that she might be like poisoning us. Okay. Yay! Let's get Sword Art Online, guys. We get in sword art, baby. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Back to April. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait. Did, wait, does the plant put us in Arcadia? Yeah. Oh, They're wow, sending people failed. to Arcadia. She turned into a ghost. But I don't feel cold at all. Actually, I don't feel anything. This so I think looks... this is actually like the little in-between area. Um, visions. This that looks like... Me like visions. Oh, what does that house remind me of? Save I'm telling. This is a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it does have scary elements. Uh... Uh, more so than the first one. Find her. Save her. You must find her. You must save her. I don't understand. Please. She's telling you exactly what she wants from you. Find April Ryan. Hurry, Zoe. Hurry. Find and save April Ryan. She have to have such a fucking horrifying baby doll. In front of the Wait, no, no! I want to go to the house. No. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> also, why are we in our underwear if we were fully dressed when they put the plan on our face? <laughs> Maybe it just uh perceives you in your most comfortable form. Or or we were feeling vulnerable because they attacked us. Maybe. That would make more sense. Okay, now we're in Arcadia? Yes. Okay, I remember this part. I remember this part. Oh, what was that? What was that, then? <laughs> there was a little man. What the hell? Am I? Hey, maybe. It's gone now. <laughs> Oh, oh, there he is! Man. Okay, there was something on the ground behind us. Okay. This is not real. This cannot be real. I need we to... have to go beat the shit out of a little bit. I need to wake up. Or get out of here. I think we need to avoid them. I need to do something. Anything. Okay. 
We got a good old throwing rock. You just jump into the water. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait. Eh. Eh. Okay, never mind. I thought this was a. I can throw the thing mm. and get their attention. You push him into the water. Run! Push him in! I, I don't think that is an option. Okay, I, I think I have to wait for him to walk to the right and then walk back, and then I can go through the door. Like, this game has stealth sections, but as we saw with the nasty pizza man, uh, enemies don't really see you. <laughs> yeah. Like, the dog so funny. was difficult because it was facing us, but... <coughs> they, they probably have a similar line of sight to your, uh, like, your interact swivel thing. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. If I had to guess, that it's like the same coating, so it's just a small slip. Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, shit out of him! I don't think I can. He's pretty buff. Oh, wait, shit. Why? Is he too little? Okay, that's closed off. What if I just <laughs> run the whole way? <laughs> Get her off! It's fine. Is he not following? He's just not following me. Oh. Right. He gave up. Oh, look, a boat! Wow! If I'm not mistaken, the water wheel is connected to more gears. It could be what powered this city back when it was inhabited. There's a wooden platform up there. Yeah, oh, there's a little wheel. On that I don't know if we can get down to the boat yet. We have to do a puzzle. It's time to play the puzzle. It's time for puzzle. It's time for puzzle puppies. I need like a button that plays uh I, I showed you the remix that my brother-in-law did of the NPR It's Time to Play the Puzzle theme. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, believe, I believe I remember that, yes. I need, a, I need a button that just plays that. Okay. <laughs> so, turning that wheel just makes a little spark happen. Um... What do I do with a spark and two pebbles? <laughs> uh, wrap it around a rock and electrify the water. I don't know about that. Yeah. It's perfect. Nothing could ever go wrong. Oh, there's it's a thing. Broken. There's no way to climb up there. Uh oh. Um me. I would guess that wheel is used to control the machine. Combine pe pebble with other pebble. Use pebble. Okay. Um. Man's was okay down there. 
아음 생각이 났어요 mistaken the water wheel is connected to more gears it could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited I have no clue can we cheat a little bit yes oh yeah. did we go to the next chapter oh yeah I think so uh... I, I feel like I would need like a crystal here like oh Big wheel and a socket on top. I didn't. I didn't look at the socket. Can I? No. Can I combine the pebble with the other pebble? I feel like we'd need one of the crystals, but it won't let me interact with the crystals. Uh, it says, "Have you beat up any trolls?" No. <laughs> do I have to? Yeah. It says you'll be attacked, and you have to. It says where conquered troll will fall. Um, so. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing that's, uh. You know, kill the troll. Okay. Um. Let's save. <laughs> I'm so glad that saving isn't, uh. awful. It's Hello, glowing. sir. Hello, sir. Oh, I gotta remember. I gotta remember how to fight. Eh. I love their battle music, though. Mm. Oh, God. Come on, bud. He's like, you know, see me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Eat him up. Come on. Come on. Remember the technique. Dodge and hit. Dodge and hit. <laughs> this dude. This dude does not. He's definitely not as scary as the man that was making a pizza. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I might die just because I, like, couldn't remember what I was supposed to be doing, but I, I can just try again. But I'm not, like, yeah. angry at this fight. Ah, fuck. There we go. Oh! Okay. You're a gamer! Look at you go! Oh. Okay. Um. You're so talented. Oh, I was supposed to take this thing. I didn't even I didn't even need to kill him. I feel bad. <laughs> no, oh. it's oh. okay. Uh. It's not okay. He was just vibing. Sometimes you gotta you know <laughs> You gotta crack a few trolls to get a glowing egg, you know? Exactly, you gotta crack. I, don't think I would guess that wheel was used to control the machine. I accidentally clicked on it and I had to. There it's we go. It's definitely mechanic. Okay, uh, I. It's definitely Whoops. Uh, glowing egg. It will take me some time to remember the basic controls. <laughs> there we go. Who put us in, like, nice leather pants and, like, a soft Sherpa jacket? Yeah. The, the, the adventuring gods were a little bit more kind to us this time. Yeah. April got we fucked over. <laughs> April with was Zoe? like, I'm starting in my fucking underwear and then I get this, like, waiter clothing. 
It's the Sword Art Online machine that, that yeah. gave us nice, uh... The Sword Art Online Michigan Fitbit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you, captions. <laughs> you get it. The captions can get it. They, they understand me. They know what I really meant to say, which was Sword Art Online Michigan Fitbit. <laughs> I want to see a Sword Art Online Fitbit. <laughs> Okay, and I just need to grab on to one of the... Why would she do this instead of just getting on the boat? <laughs> because she saw a wooden platform and wanted to be there. I honestly huh? wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't trust that platform to stay standing. <laughs> oh, we knocked okay, her I... up loose. I have to say, all of these little cutscenes and like the musical transitions and stuff remind me of every cutscene from the Kids Next Door video game. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> like they did the exact same thing where every time a little thing changed, they would do a whole pan out followed by a little like do 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 like mystery cue and it's like, oh, I wonder oh. what that's about. That would have been like 2010, right? Uh, let me see actually. It's next story. Because it, it was, like, a thing in, like, 2010 it, video games. It came out in 2005. Oh. So, huh. I mean, it could have just been, like, Dreamfall ten. stole their stingers <laughs> from the kids <laughs> next door. Yeah. Man, I, I can't wait to set up my xbox like the original xbox <laughs> and then play a bunch of shitty original xbox games they... i i climbed up here to do what uh go to the right over there maybe can you go over there nope. no i can just uh it's just a cave with a very specific end to it. <laughs> it says on the wall. Okay, she'll go straight ahead, see a ladder, climb up. On the wall, she'll notice a note. A note. Three luminous pictures. I. I hear uh, bats. I don't see any luminous pictures, though. Uh. This bat noise is really annoying. Uh, okay. I'm gonna read from the beginning to the end because the way this yeah. thing works is a little weird. Um, and I think you were supposed to take the egg from how this is wording it. Oh. How am I supposed Zoe to climb with a giant glowing egg? <laughs> So we will go upstairs and see the ladder coming up is broken. What a pity on the right is steering is device with the steering wheel on the pick. Zoe will put the egg, then she will move the steering wheel. Water wheel will start to move. Zoe will take the egg and run downstairs. She climb onto the wheel and for a moment she will be on the wooden platform. Uh, so I think Jesus Christ. You there's egg. no indication. <laughs> God. It, it, normally, when I put a thing somewhere, that's where it belongs. Well, can I climb the rope it. again? I can't climb the rope up. I can only slide down it. Cool. She's not Gee, strong Zoe. enough. You know how much harder it is to climb up a single rope? Yeah, but she can grab that while holding an egg the size of her head. Listen. Zoe Castillo is not as cool as April Ryan, and there I said it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you're not wrong. It's kind of funny. I sure like, hope that ladder leads out of this place. Now she's. Oh my god. It's it's <laughs> as if, like. <sighs> so bright. Like, she didn't even say, like, maybe I should take that with me. <laughs> I think. 
I think Zoe is a better adventure than April was in the first game, but I think April is cooler in this game. Yeah. Zoe is more depressed and apathetic, meaning that, like, she just kind of, like, accepts weird shit when it happens to her. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Touch oh, it. it's a little dancing man on the right there. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, no. Okay. I think each of these symbols play a musical note. I mean, there's only nine options. So it's you three play... different flavors of spooky. You have to play the song from Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> Which song from Undertale? Uh, you know the one where you had to like play the musical notes to get into the into the side secret building. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's four. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> it's one, two, one, three. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where we're supposed to get that information from. Oh! Oh! I did it accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Seth! I know Hi, you're Seth. sleepy. Oh, you know wait, me? no. I, I failed so much that it told me. Oh. Uh... How was I supposed to know? It literally fucking tells you. Yeah, you're just supposed to like poke at it and be annoying, and then it'll be like, okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's like the it's the fucking display. stinger. Yeah. yeah. It's the Arcadia music. Oh, now we're in jail. This <laughs> cool. looks bad. <laughs> Does it look great? What is this place? I must be dreaming. Why is a wooden wheel the thing that sets you off? It's locked from the outside. <laughs> the trolls, or the weird glowing runes, or the egg, or the anything like that. No, wheel. it just vanished. If I didn't know, I didn't better, know better, I'd, I'd say, say it was, it was magic. magic. The tunnel oh. just vanished. If I didn't know better, okay. I'd say it was Door is locked magic. from the outside. There's a wooden you wheel. You saw the pebbles? Oh. Who took my pebbles? You dropped them. Oh. Pick the door. <laughs> I just had to inspect it first. Oh, oh god, how far did you have to go to find somewhere with power? That machine looks brand new. It definitely doesn't fit in with the rest of the stuff down here. I think this yeah, is the this basement of the stuff. journeyman inn. It's like something out of a I just have to say movie. Like yeah, this this looks like, food like an this. old tavern, not like a magic tavern. <laughs> Yeah. Like I wouldn't say that it's like weird or crazy cuz I definitely like where it I is. live there's, there's a lot of places that look like this. It's our girl. The nasty lady that made us look like a maid. You had to go to fucking KOP, Jesus. Yeah. Forte went to go get lunch Remember, and what do you want about Bryn? Uh, turn in the first Nestle. deposit for the house, um, and no one has power except for us. Six Jesus Christ. I guess you guys got you lucky. Speak English. Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm not sure what's hap- Speak what? Who are you? Where do you come from? Uh, I... I don't know. I think I'm... I'm dreaming. Yeah, so... No matter what I do, uh, in the first game, April had to like focus for a couple of minutes child. to learn this Please language. What's the and sword art online plant? No, no, that's um It uh it's it's also like a little bit of just Zoe's talent. Mm. We don't open and 
until midday. Oh, from what? The inn, child. What do you think? Are you soft-witted, or...? By the balance, you are from... from... the other side, aren't you? What? Graciously. Another ship. <laughs> Why do they always end up here? Another yeah. what? You must go see Minstrel Magda immediately. She will explain everything. Minstrel Magda? Leave now, but be cautious. And don't speak a word of this to anyone. They have ears everywhere. A lot less Look, laid back than she was. I don't know what's going one. on, and I don't know what a shifter is or why I'm supposed yeah. to see well, this Magda person. April's been in town for a while. A frightened child. You don't understand. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm almost starting to think that those stories Charlie told me about April Ryan are true. Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Do you know her? No. I don't recognize the name. <laughs> you need to see Minstrel Mob. She doesn't time. know who you work for. I guess I don't have a choice. Dream or no dream. Where can I find her? She moves around. Let Blind Bob ought to know where she is. He's right outside. You can't miss him. Blind Bob, Minstrel Magda, underground cities and strange monsters. I feel like I'm inside some kind of fairy tale. All right. I'll go talk to, um... Blind Bob. Thank you. What's your name? Benrina Salmon, child. I'm the innkeeper of the Journeyman Inn. If you ever need anything, come see me. I'll help you the best I can. I'm Zoe, and thank you. I'm sure I will see you again. You're the only person I know in this... this place. Benrina is so cool. She's just like... God, an idiot showed up. I'm gonna take care of you. And then, oh God, another idiot showed up. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's so cute during winter. Oh. It's like, uh... That wasn't here before. That wasn't here before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You blind bastard. So hungry, so blind. Arms. <laughs> I feel like a blind fable. Help a blind bastard, so cold, so hungry, so blind. <laughs> Arms for a poor old blind bastard with no home, no hearth. I'm so sorry, I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a secret, Rose Petal. Blind Bob's happy he don't have no home, no hearth. Had those, hated them. Left to begin a career in beggar. A career beggar. Fuck yeah. Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom, fresh air, no strings, no stress. No this dude gets it. Taxes. Honestly? Fancy cold. You play, but no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee lad. Left me permanently well, temperate. Isn't that wow. a good thing? Quite pleasant. If like you, yeah, you always feel a little thing. warm. That can't be yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, that. It's theoretical. Theoretical? <laughs> Theoretically blind? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. <laughs> How many accidents but did you have as a didn't. child? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Miss Blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me eyes out, mind you. What? Could very well have. So, so he's I'm theoretically <laughs> Is he blind? Of course, I don't think he is. Theoretically blind Bob is no proper name yeah. for beggar. <laughs> he's so not I just use blind, blind Bob nowadays. That's me, that is. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, Hello. this man gets it. <laughs> can I ask you a question? You can ask. I might answer, I might not. That's how I want to answer people. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> the innkeeper said you might know. Her name is... Hold it right there, Rose Petal. Tit for tat. Them's the rules. What do you mean? If you want Blind Bob to do you a favor, you do him one first. Fair enough. What do you want? Just so you know, I don't have any money. Well, Rose Petal, you seem to be cozy with old Ben Rima in there. <laughs> now she makes a robust mold wine. Oh, so are we cozy with her. Winter's morning. But Ben Rima, she don't take well to blowing Bob sitting on her doorstep. And she don't willingly part with her wares without recompense of sorts. You want mold wine? 
Oh, a bottle would do nicely, Rose Petrie. Mind, it's the good stuff now. Made with Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins God, mixed spices. God, I can't wait to make mulled Fine. wine this see what year. I can do. Oh, thanks, Petrie. You made a theoretically blind man happy. Don't mind me, good sir, madam. I'm just a poor old blind bastard with nowhere to go and nothing to eat. <laughs> that guy, honestly, makes a fair bit of points. <laughs> I mean, no taxes. Um, You're hello? warm all yes. the time because oh, he's cursed. What can I do for you, child? I spoke with Blind Bob, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Ah, yes. Tit for tat. Given a chance to bargain, Blind Bob will take it. What does he want now? Mulled wine. He wants mulled wine made with, um, Mrs. something or other spice mix. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. For a beggar, Blind Bob is quite <laughs> particular. I don't know what to do. Blind Bob is Winston like... Magda, I can't get home. If I can't the get The dude home, that... Calm down, like Jack. decks out a van to live in red wine and i can heat it up for you but i'm all and then just like moves around wherever he wants to receive a delivery this yeah. morning but no one has been by yet. he doesn't give a and shit not about anyone really to get them himself he just Maybe does what he wants i could pick yeah. up the spices for you <coughs> good i buy my spices from a merchant at the south gate market his is the first stall on the left when you walk down i read avenue just tell him Ben Rene sent you to pick up her order of Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. And be sure to mention that I'm not happy you did not make his delivery God. as scheduled. I will put some wine on the boil while you are away. I love a quest Thank line so much. of like, You're welcome, child. I need this. Now. And I go to whoever has it have and they're like, I don't it. have that. I need this. Town, but and it's just a line of like 40 people. To go the long way yeah. <laughs> Walk east towards the tower. When you get to the tower square, go south. That will take you on to I read Avenue. Oh, God. It's all the way down to the south gate. I'm not going to remember this. And south. Okay, thank you. East and south. I and don't... And I also don't have a compass. Uh, maybe they have, like, street names? I, I imagine... Go right, then left. Maybe we're, maybe we're just facing north. <laughs> maybe we're just really facing north. Oh. Nope. That's that. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's a big old traffic jam. That's why we can't go this way. <laughs> oh, look at them. I love them they so are much. Frozen. <laughs> You'll okay, receive so a reward in the afterlife of your choice. <laughs> So they're shepherding you where to go. Yeah. Sort of. Preferable. Oof. Yeah, so this architecture is uh, from the desert people that were invading at the end of the last game. Uh... They remade the whole fucking city. Jesus. Oh, that's a scary tower. Yep. It's like, it's, was it? It was this way, right? In the tower square? Uh, for the, like the main building? I don't or... remember. It just won't let me in if I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> She's like, do go south at the tower square. It's telling you to go in the big building or to find one of the little tent guys or you tell me which way to go. The tower's where the emissary holds office. She runs the Azadi administration here in the Northland. Oh wait, is this more town? Yes, oh, this well, is I mean, more town. Down there is where the merchants were, wasn't it? Like the yeah. merchant square. The salty seamen. <laughs> seamen. <laughs> okay. 
Where's the <laughs> spicy love man? Your captions spelled Thrugs. No! <laughs> the innkeeper at the journeyman sent me to pick up an order of Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. Oh, the big boy it's in the back. Mulled wine. Oh. Yes. Oh, Ben Rebe boy is the best call oh, in town. Oh, I love that we can Absolutely actually see wonderful. the big old guy. Oh, you sent right up. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Next. Hold on. Ben Rime needs the spices right now. You could just give them to me no. and I'll deliver them for no. you. No. Why, yes. Yes. I okay, I thought he was going to be like, oh, I need something first. <laughs> Saves me from having to deliver them, doesn't it? Fantastic. No problem. None at all. Except. No, you don't Except have them, do you? There's a tiny, tiny problem. Nothing major. Nothing that can't be solved. Ah, uh, we don't right? have it. It's barely worth uh -huh. mentioning. You see, the thing is, I don't <sighs> actually have any spices for this morning. I'm gonna kill him. I see. Isn't this the spice store? Ben Rime told me to go to the spice store. Well, then you've certainly come to the right place. I sell spices and liquids. I sell spices fact, every other day. <laughs> yeah, we don't have spices. Best spice mixes in the Northlands, or any lands. It's just that, well, my delivery is a... Is it because of that giant fucking traffic jam? Oh yeah, because of the traffic jam. Ah ha ha! Oh my god, it's gonna be in the fucking cart right outside the inn, isn't it? Probably. How delayed is quite a bit. I'm sure it won't take more than a few hours. Excuse me. A few hours, at most, before lunchtime. I'm sure, or by tea time. If he's not here by dinner time, I eat my left shoe. I really do need those spices. Like, now. I wish I could be of more help, young lady. But as long as the ghetto's closed, the carriages are stuck in Burrow Crook. The ghetto? Oh, the whole ghetto is closed. Oh, out of towner. Welcome to Marcuria, etc., etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So what about the ghetto? Right. Well, the Azadi have set aside a section of Old Town for the magicals. That way, they can be with their own. We don't bother them. Are you ready for a racism storyline? Why can't the carriages come through? Well, another one. Once in a while, yep. Zadi helped the magicals weed out <laughs> undesirables. They close the ghetto down, search the buildings for criminals and contraband, a sort of spring cleaning, if you will. And your supplier is stuck in. Yeah, all non-humans are stuck in on one the the neighborhood, and it often Towards gets. Bothered by the cops. I just came from there. E right. She so was. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we help each other out, eh? She was. That is original. Delivery of Mrs. Mullins mixed spices, our specialty, and bring them back here. I can give you Ben Rime's order. Why can't? <laughs> Why can't I just steal I everything and give it to Ben Ben Rime? <laughs> I don't care. Fantastic. You want to speak with Harry Kilburn? He's a bearded fellow at Tad Ornery. But a decent fellow at heart. He'll be up Burrow Crook, right below the journeyman inn. You can't miss him. See Ask the man that Mrs. grumbled at me. Spices. He'll try and get some money from you, but the order's been paid for already. Guy with a beard, wagons, Burrow Crook. Okay, I'll try my Jesus best. Christ. Come right back here with the spices, and I'll. Okay. I wanna pet this pretty boy. I wanna pet him. Hello. Getting water or something? He's working. Oh, he can't work when I'm in front of him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm that asshole that like makes a funny noise around a service dog. And you like feel horrible about it for the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh God, I uh, once when I was working at the cafe, um. Someone came in with a dog on just like a normal ass leash, and I was in the bathroom at the time. And when I came out, like one of the younger baristas was talking, and my first thought was like, "Oh, maybe they were like too nervous to tell someone that we don't have dogs in here, and like it's service dogs only." And I, I like interrupted them and was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's service dogs only." And the barista goes, oh, uh, the their service dog vest got really dirty, and so they're doing without it today. And I was just like, oh. 
And then I went downstairs and I hid until they left. Hello, spicy man. Hello. The traffic appears to be backed up. No one. May the six grant me strength. As if this morning hasn't been trying enough. And what do you want, girl? I. On second thought, don't tell me. I'm not in the mood for idle chatter. But I. Magicals. <laughs> Damned ghetto rats. And those rebels. More like terrorists, if you ask me. Not a day goes by without them troublemakers making trouble for the rest of us. They should stick them on a boat and send them out to sea so as they don't bother honest humans trying to make an honest living. Call themselves freedom fighters, the terrorists do. But it's because of them that I'm stuck here. Again! <laughs> I was slightly inconvenienced for an hour, so everyone fighting for the freedom of magical races is a bad person. better than it was before they came. If this is oppression, I don't want to be liberated. Listen, I... Ye gods, I mean goddess, there's only one, blessed be her name, etc. You are so annoying. <laughs> I just Thank spoke you. The spice merchant at this God, I've market. had this conversation have before. To wait until we reopen the ghetto, just like everyone else. Well, he sent me to pick up a delivery of, um, Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. What? No, that's, um, all right. It's irregular, but I reckon I can part with it for a fair price. So often, said, it's been paid for already. Where I just well, like probably try to need to ask a quick question of someone, oh. and they like go That's on a like a huge COVID rant, mind. or like mind you, it could take a while. Something it about like, like reopening the ghetto anytime soon. Democrats sorry, and health he insurance and. Right away. He's out of stock. Welfare queens. And I'm just like, I needed to know where the bathroom was, but. <laughs> I just gotta pee. I was just asking for like one all you want, but I'm not leaving. If you think you're yeah, having a bad like, day, you try mine on for size. We had a pretty bad neighbor at our last apartment. And he like just he came up to like ask us about something with like the company the that purchased our building and it turned into just like a weird racist rant and he like Absolutely. <laughs> he I'm used like the r slur and i like immediately recoiled and he just kept going and i was just like oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> people people think they're allowed to just say whatever they want because they can say whatever they want with no repercussion <sighs> I wasn't paying enough attention. Do I need to go back to the Spice Man or Ben Rime? Uh, look at the chat log. Uh, it's whatever button is your monkey menu. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's M. Oh, it's different now. Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> he worshipped Mojal. <laughs> um, the the dude who wouldn't let the um, you remember the sea captain who wouldn't sign his own name until we found music to distract his god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that Mojal. <laughs> oh What's with all the fucking just men? <sighs> like his shitty men. <laughs> worship. Mojal, the god of annoying men. <laughs> the god of annoying men. Oh, I need to inspect these machines, I remember. I keep seeing these machines everywhere, but I still don't know what they're used for. They're used for alpha. You're back. <laughs> How wonderful it is to see you again so soon. I won't. I won't Have spoil. Nice oh, thank you. Oh, you I was supposed to go back to Ben Rime. 
I thought we were taking the whole order and not just Ben Remes, and so I thought we had to go back, but eh. have a candle just like unlit next to me and I need to put the lid back on because the smell is too much. <laughs> Maybe I want to start burning some candles or something. Um, it could probably fit. We have this like Nightmare Before Christmas slack smelter. That I could probably put on my desk to make it smell good in here. Hello. And the cats Ooh. don't mess with it. Spices. It wasn't easy, but I got the spices. It took you long enough, child. Did you get lost? No, but I had to do a lot of running around. It doesn't matter. I have the spices now. Good. There's a pot of red wine in the kitchen. Mix the spices in. Let it boil for a while, and you have mold wine. Thank you so much. I appreciate mold wine your is help. so nice. Well, you look like you need all the help I can give you, child. I don't think I've had any kind of wine before. There's red wine boiling in that cauldron. Well, it's just like um, it's like wintry spices in like warm red wine, and. Um, it's just, it's, it's so nice, like, when it's snowing. Okay. Oh, I was like, I'm stealing from Ben Rime. No, I need an empty bottle to put wine in. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Are you supposed to put the spices in the boiling wine? Uh, I, I did. Oh. So cold, so hungry, so blind. Arms. Oh. Um. Here. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins and Riverwood Red. Give it here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan like of red sweet. wine, but like a lot of mulled wine is also like sweetened. And so it's just like. Christmassy ah, and warm and alcoholic. <laughs> I'm most grateful. <gasps> Hi, Bob. Hello. In Blind Bob's book. Here Glad comes you liked the it. Boy. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, there are He's a special boy. <laughs> That's uh, what's the name? Uh, old chest. Uh, hello, hello. If you do not know, uh, I am Hemlock. This is Van T. Um, Every morning, blind Bob wakes up, we are playing Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Green. You go to bed now? Oh, get some sleep. Oh. Sleepy boy. I, I kiss you on the forehead. <laughs> Is it uh, time for the stinky man? Oh, wait, uh, I wasn't looking. Uh... Okay, he didn't. I was green. <laughs> he didn't tell me where she was. <laughs> Hi there. We they had to get this man. <laughs> had to get this man mold wine, in exchange for information on where to find a woman who will tell us how to go home. Do you know where I can find Minstrum Magda? There's just so much oh, little extra her, things in these side he quests that I immediately forget what we're doing. Best sort, not soup, south Why aren't we Baskerville. asking for April you know Ryan? Because we know we're in a different she world. We could probably Magda ask if seen her anyone's heard of her. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? Well, I don't know anyone in the city. We brought her up to Ben Rime. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. <laughs> Lives up Crab Bend. Oh my God. And hang my span. <laughs> In view of Friars Crazy key. Clara. Crazy oh, as a turnip, Clara is. Yeah, we asked Ben Rime and she pretended to not have heard of her. Um, 
and uh, no spoilers, but asking about April is a bad idea. Is it because of the whole desert people taking over thing? Again? She's the leader of the resistance. Hangman's span. Oh. That's up Crab Bend East to Southgate, towards Friars Keep, the prison. Okay. <laughs> go go Where up Crab's Bend. To <laughs> you can Sorry. usually find her on Hangman's span. That's up Crab Bend East to Southgate, towards Friars Keep. Hangman's the span, up Crab Bend. That's Thank Jesus you, Christ. Steve. I'm just gonna go where it lets oh, me go. Me We're <coughs> friends now, ye and I. Oh yeah, this is Blind Bob, uh, which is short for theoretically Blind Bob because he's not actually blind. He's theoretically supposed to be. He's <laughs> only theoretically blind because when he was a kid, something exploded way far away from him. But if it had exploded in his eyes, he would be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love. I love the logic. Such a good, silly game. I'm gonna call myself theoretically half blind venti because when I was a child, a dog was half an inch away from ripping my eye out, and I have a scar on my face, but I theoretically could have been blind. Damn. <laughs> I have this, like, fairly noticeable scar on my nose um from when i was a baby uh i climbed the side of my height chair and it fell on me even here on this deserted street they're really serious about this industrial uh, and people always ask me about it uh and i just have to go like oh i, I fell as a baby it's boring <laughs> Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, oh, I forgot. Are you Clara by any chance? Oh no. You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Ah. Uh. I'm looking for Minstrum Magda. The Minstrum are evil, Clara. They cloud your mind with their spiritual claptrap. My baby. Oh, is oh no, the Vikings bot. <laughs> I I mean technically, but I'm pretty sure I turned it off. There's no chance you'll turn uncrazy for a moment and not. Uh, if anyone wants to download Vikings War of Clans for free on pro PC or mobile, you can use my link. So. No. so you lost something or someone. If you get through the tutorial, it helps yes, the channel. What? Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Master oh. Lily's caught him in the net, just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can I have we? no clue if she Boxed means right up. an animal or a baby. Put him to sleep for you. I think it's an animal. Poor thing. Oh, baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I know. They're I'm like... There are stranger pets in this world. No oh, stranger. Best friend. Girl. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please, no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The Gettles Klaus stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What oh, it might him? actually be Crow. I don't we remember. Take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. If but if it's still like, hear him, my baby. Like crow still hear him crying. Yeah, if if Do she had him in the ghetto, that baby. means he was magical. Find baby. Yes. What if, if it's just one of like the robots with gorillas? Do you know where he is? <laughs> like a twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to marry. Home well, I mean, we are conveniently yeah, very close yeah, to the prison. <laughs> Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Alright, now we gotta look for either a baby or a crow or a magical animal. <laughs> Just what, whatever. It's, it's like in the prison. Scene at the <laughs> you know the scene at the beginning of Shrek with Donkey? It's like, he's a talking donkey and he doesn't say anything. 
<laughs> that tower looks like bad news. I'm not going in there. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there's a little talkie. Okay. She did not tell us where Magda is. I think she is too distraught. So now we have to break into prison. Maybe try talking to her. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try talking to her one more time, and then we'll go. Baby. Not yet. I don't. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's baby time. Can we like? I wanna like climb this way, and then break into the side. Uh. We could go talk to someone. I guess. This is the prison. Uh, it says to go back to the market. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I know that there is definitely a prison break in this game. Yeah, I mean, especially if we're gonna be siding with someone who's like the rebellion. <laughs> yeah, we have to like trick our way into that prison. Southgate was where all the business from the harbor okay. came through. Nowadays, that's a red for the ocean. Let's see. Oh. Hello, hello. Did you find my map? Yes. I... Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Va fantastic. What? <laughs> what happened? No. No. I see. We can. There's no. Right. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh. Uh. The Azari are probably quite. Okay. Cool. So we stole all of his money. <laughs> that man's going to die. It's fine. Good morning, dear. Oh. Hungry. I do want soup. You want some soup? All profits go to the refuge. We should oh, we don't have money. The homeless and the no, thank you. Very well. Ugh, fish. Me too. Well. Me fucking too. <laughs> I'm here to pick up some necessities. I know there are much better markets in town, but I live up Crab Bend, and this is convenient. Hello? Guarding contraband merchandise confiscated from those thieving madrigals. Uh. The ghetto's closed by order of the office of the emissary. What's inside? That's the ghetto. It's not a good place for humans. But stay away if I were you. Why is it closed? We're cleaning out the trash, confiscating contraband. Magicals don't have any respect for the law. Okay. Hey, you can't go in there. Why not? What? What's in there? <laughs> okay, again. It's okay if I just read this, because it, it makes yeah. big sense that I'm very stupid. It's, uh... It's also so not a great guide. The... Yeah. I mean, it tells us it tells us what we gotta do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Zoe will come back to the market and notice that one of the paths is safeguarded. When the strange big animal is walking and will block Zoe, she will run fast into that path. Uh, okay. Oh, it's just right here. Must be crazy Clara's pet. Oh, it's really cute. Do I? It's a little guy. Come on, come on, come on. Eh. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Alright, okay, well now we can get in here whenever we want. Hell yeah, geniuses. <laughs> I 
I love the like next area areas where you can't tell if it's just a flat PNG of the next area <laughs> or actually 3D rendered. <laughs> it's just so cute. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, whatever he is, he's magical. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. But like, Safe. she's also I'm like, glad. camped out in Look, front of the prison. Like, like someone's gonna Magda. find it again. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the sweet lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mm. She is the soup lady. Our favorite. What do you mean? Uh, oh, soup lady. As I already fucking talked to her. Kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. She's either saying she is the soup lady or she wants you to get her soup. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. Okay. She's nice. She is the soup lady. She just is the soup lady. You ask her okay. nicely. I'm sure she knows. Down where? We're just down. That's what okay. Take it. I know it. Okay. Yeah, we, we talked to her. <laughs> Easy out. If only I was allowed to ask more than two people where Magda is. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, I'm pretty sure she runs the soup kitchen. Yeah. Oh, hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, thank you. Are you Minstrum Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just looking for Minstrum Magda. I don't know any Minstrum Magda. There are no Minstrum in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... Oh my god, get the hint! Like I said, yeah. there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? I think it's safe to say that Ben Rime sent us. The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh, and who would that be? Her name is Ben Rime Salme. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now, why <laughs> would you do a thing like that? Because I'm. I'm, um. not from around here. That much is quite obvious. <laughs> Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to me. Yeah, I surely fucking should have. With any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. Ah, uh, shit, man. Buy two, get one general. free entire stack so of tool at Joanne's. Do. Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. 30% glow in the dark, 30% off glow in the dark flannel. That's fucking dope. Mm. I've been trying. <laughs> Why can't I say her places? first name? <laughs> Wait, that's Sorry, not what? her first <laughs> she t like she told us that all of the minstrum are gone. Like she's can not the brightest banana, you know. No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. Yeah, well, what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. Oh, um, 
You will need to enter Old uh, Town. They call it the magic ghetto these days. Uh, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across something. the square. Halloween fabric? Open, but right now oh, so fabric. I, I've just been trying to find you nice to places where we can get again. more uh, Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan for magic I mean, craft. Joanne's has uh, a lot of sales often. They do like pre-Halloween and then post-Halloween <laughs> sales. I know we don't have a Joanne's here. We have like, it's called something weird. Um, and they do deliver if it's not ridiculously expensive. These foreigners, they are doing their best to control it, and everyone who uses it, and I fear. They may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. What's the magic ghetto? It used to be called Old Town. The oldest all mm -hmm. magical peoples in Marculia have been forced behind those walls to protect them from the fiends. At night, the gates are closed. Okay, I have to pee real bad. Minutes. I'll be right back. Homes are turned upside down. <laughs> Just gonna let her talk. People are arrested and, <laughs> and what? Remind me later they are taken away, to, never to be show seen you again. really the cute Azadi fleece that I found uh, on Etsy and when I was looking fleece. earlier. Because you might, you might like it. Terrorists here are it is. Uh, but no, it's good. They do not speak ill of the Azadi. They have done so much. Yazadi, who could that be? Man, yeah, bang. Yeah, I love, I love cute fabric. I, oh God, I saw like the cutest little witchy print with like, uh. It was like really geometric with like crows and cauldrons and crystals on it. It was like ten dollars a yard though. <laughs> yeah. Joanne's has been getting like these big designers to do stuff and then marking the price up. Mm. Do you know yeah. anyone by the name of April Ryan? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? Uh, I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. Who are the Azadi? They are just want to make sure that I grab as many, like, they help talking points as possible. From the Tyran armies ten years ago, and then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation. Not at all, and you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, <laughs> lest you fancy seeing the inside of yeah, the They society. saved them from the Tyran. Here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular so they're Christians. about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic. Okay. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. I'll be careful. Psst. Hey. Hey. Oh. A guy. Yeah, that's the, the dude in the inn. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told you? Oh, wait, weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? Worm! That doesn't exactly inspire trust. Oh, Worm? <laughs> yeah. what He's a good boy. How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name April Ryan. You know her. 
I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. Yeah, but I mean, she is stri pretty street you smart. Lead me into a dark alley, yeah. knock me out, tie me up, and drag me into a basement somewhere. I promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? <laughs> I'm the only Jesus. one who can take you to it. To April. She's the one you're looking for, right? right? Okay, fine. I don't remember. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. <laughs> you also That's know me. Kung Fu, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, she knows Zoe! <laughs> Come on. She, uh, Hurry listen. Up. We don't want to stay close. She doesn't want her captor to know she knows Kung it's Fu. just around the corner. <laughs> I thought you said Worm was a good boy. Talking about you. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of He's a good boy. All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might they they think she's an Azadi spy. I would have predicted it. There's something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my, my patience girl. with you. You need to trust me. But I... Bryn, come uh? now. Fine. Fine, but don't say I didn't want... I love how he heard us asking about April. So why are you asking oh. questions? But about didn't realize that we came out of the basement. Who are you? Yeah. I'm asking questions here. Wait. It's April. It's April, aren't you? It's the I April. You in the what? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor in the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How is that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. She hasn't heard the Stark. word Stark yet. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the Fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place, a subterranean city, and there were these, uh, these creatures. I had to fight them, and all the time I was saying to myself, it's just a dream, Zoe, just a dream, except, except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me, but you learned to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. The issue is we didn't here. shift. <laughs> yeah, we we're not really here. Yeah. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just mm -hmm. do it. Once you learn how, it's like blinking with your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least, I don't think I was. It's... Yeah, our fuzzy. body is still in Stark, sure which is out. a problem. What's yeah. Your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere safe until you can find your way back to Stark. No, 
No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message. Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Perceiving? How? Through dreams? No. No, on screens. It's like... Like some kind of stuff. Oh, interference. she said it looked like the what does it mean? like what happened don't during the me. collapse. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. Mm. Oh, I don't think so. This girl, she led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't. You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems. You figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. I'll help you get back. You're done saving the world. Lock you up somewhere until says you out how the woman who was leading a resistance. I tell your friend. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. That's horrible. So you're not going to help me? Mm. You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. I, I understand like, want back or not? her wanting to like move on from everything. Of course I do. But no. like, like, if I, said, if I learned work, that like Emma believed me, me and was you still looking to for me, and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting <sighs> powers. Yeah. Lie like... down on that bed, and I'll be right back. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. The and teeth in this game are not good. Can't guarantee you that. <laughs> you might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What is she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. Get the so head. Why won't you? Hello. Shut because up. I have enough trouble in my life already. <laughs> because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. <laughs> Listen to Naane's voice. Nea, Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane an, an an, a an an. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to? <laughs> I do not know. April an. She did not open a shift, and her clothes. They still She's here. naked. This is so cheating in the know. middle of the day. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost <laughs> as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here in this world. I, I feel like the I hypnotism didn't actually work, dead. and it's just Charlie so finding us upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that was so. Oh, show me my boy, show me my boy, show me my boy. Okay, um, this is the fight that I have to win. Um, okay, uh -huh. cool, it's saved. Um. Oh, there's no block, there's no block. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the fight that I have to win for us to see Keon early. Uh, why can't I 
Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, there is a block. I was hitting the wrong button. I'm smart. You are. Ha! Ooh. button <laughs> please don't no okay can i just do that again <laughs> wait a second <laughs> easy such a little <clears throat> oh my god how many boys do i have to kill to see my son I think everyone around the circle. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. This, 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 this man is smarter than the others. <laughs> These buff trained fighters aren't as good as a man who was making a microwave pizza. <laughs> Oh shit. You did it! Okay, okay. Just, just a couple more boys. Oh? Oh, no, you're done. Did I do it? Did I do it? Not bad, Kian. You did well. Yay! Today. Woo! Thank you, Master. But your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith. But Sorry, he looks really different in the third game. I did not realize that this was Kian. <laughs> your devotion to your faith and your prowess. Of your devotion to your faith. Finished. If you could change your fate, would you? Makes as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics. When did you become a woman? Your dedication oh. to the mission. I'm sorry. Is your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. Nasty Norse man is also a misogynist. Man, Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. Like eighty percent of men in this game. Well, you've never approved of my calling, <coughs> but I have pledged my life well, to the goddess, and I have. Died. Keon's cool, and he's by so. The of the goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the six, not the goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this, we will never see eye to eye, master. I am an apostle of the faith, and I have. A thousand pardons, Apostle. Excuse me, Master. Yes, Child Anna. The six require your presence, Apostle. Child Anna. My apologies, Apostle. <laughs> they said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Her of arms are you, super veiny for like a 12 year old. Practice without <laughs> yeah. Aminon, Nozan, into the ring. And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around. Please, Apostle, we must hurry. Follow I'm me. coming. Jesus. I wasn't allowed to follow you. I was in a cutscene. <laughs> Imagine yeah. saying that to someone in real life. Oh, sorry, I was in a cutscene. They are waiting, Apostle. <laughs> oh. What? What? This way. This is a chandelier I want in my house. <laughs> Looks like claws. Oh, they're creepy. I like it. Are they kids? Apostle, our apologies for calling you I think away while you so. Were we know that you are busy with the initiates, but this could not wait. They all have the you same have character model, just different yeah. skins. And this worries us deeply. Different skin and different hair. Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless wives. The mission continues unabated, of course. 
Nothing shall stand between the glory of the goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. I... Apostle Key. Okay. We need you to travel east to those heathen lands to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A daemon. You must travel tonight to the Haven's Apostle and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out. He sounds and hot. You must convert him. <laughs> By the letting of his blood, you shall be it's just somebody who's the dressed like the spider from School of Rock. You may find forgiveness <laughs> in the glory of the goddess. Oh. Find this rebel leader, this scorpion. That's what they mean by what convert him. <laughs> this is your mission. Get him ready for reincarnation, you if you know what I'm this. saying. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word. Blessed be the mission. I feel like when you have more than one thing to bless, you're maybe in a cult. Huh. Can we Something to think him? about. If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He's a he sweet boy and he's not going to listen to you, scary children. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done, the light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the goddess aid the apostle in his mission. The future of our empire rests on his shoulders now. At least they don't all talk at the same time. Yeah. Like, they look the same and they sit the same, which, like, makes me worry that they're going to, like, do creepy chorus. Yeah, uh, they're inches away from the whole hive mind children thing. Okay. So I gotta take an airship. I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. A cloud ship will take me east across the ocean. I must leave with haste. With haste? I see. Another heathen yeah. who needs converting. There's great darkness in this world. Is it not our duty? He does not to move his mouth enough for the converting. Goddess? We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. Not so, Kian. You know I'm a man of faith. What I am questioning is our right to impose our faith on others. I've been to these eastern lands and they... And is it not a place full of darkness okay. and sin? This guy's cool. Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the goddess? What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder and fear in those lands. But there's also beauty, freedom and humility. And the brightest day has the darkest shadows, Kian. Remember that. I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light, and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty, do only what you yourself believe to be right, and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders, and how you rescued their maidens from a life <laughs> of sin. May you walk with the goddess, Kian. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Gama. Oh. You all right, girl? Where? Where am I? Yeah, they were trying to Still hypnotize us, and it didn't even work. You know, I, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I. But at least we can tell them that April's I get okay. Back here? That. You haven't moved yeah. all night. Well, I don't know if they would like out. want you to hear like, oh, what? 
April told me to tell you that she is essentially dead. She's fine, but she's never coming back. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine, a doctor. She came by and checked you out. It feels like a kind of shitty thing to tell them. But that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was somewhere else. Oh, well, we're going to say it anyway. She... What? I met April. Yep. April Ryan. I was in Arcadia, the place she spoke about. I was there. S so... So I couldn't possibly have been here. Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. That's impossible. I was there. I spoke with April. She was... She wasn't very cooperative. She was kind of a bitch. Well, I did speak with her. <laughs> yeah. All I know is that you've been sleeping right What I what I want is for us to say she was very rude and for Charlie to go, That's my call. April. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, some guests found you passed out in the booth. They gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry. Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider hungry. getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the fringe. I didn't see anyone. But apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident. And he brought two guests. Wait. I remember... Part of it. Marcus, the twins. God, there's so many veins in her eyes. They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in she, Casablanca. She was drugged. And they were here last night. <laughs> you know, so I, I think maybe it's just the modeling maybe. that I just didn't <laughs> notice before. I don't understand why they didn't just kill me. I mean, I guess I she mean, was kind of that's drugged. The second time they've attacked me. <laughs> and I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Don't ask too much. I'm gonna ask a bunch of fucking Maybe questions. Like, yeah. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still. After all, Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Rez has gotten himself into something really dangerous. Oh, besides, our hand is clipped through the entire I couch. <coughs> I might as well head ah, to yes. Casablanca and <laughs> get for Reza to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. <laughs> I think they just something? like Did created an animation Early to sit night, and talk in this position, in and then they didn't keep her change so it to deal with. I don't know. But you just told their me heights. Yeah, like risen objects. Even if it was a well, like Charlie is in the, the exact same position, it sitting on me. top of the pillow, and we're like a little sunken okay. into the pillow. I need to sort things out mm. in my head. Well, I guess I will go home. I don't yeah, see a clipping through the bye. the twins again. They were probably just trying. Maybe to they just you. forgot to raise her up a little bit. <laughs> to a pretty big story. <laughs> she needs like a little yeah. boost to see. I just hope that it it kind of looks like she's like sitting on like a plush okay, pillow, which makes sense. And then you look at the other side, and her hand yeah, is gone. I'm okay. <laughs> you can stay here as long as you need to, and I can call my doctor friend again. No need to go to a hospital. No, I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. Oh. I really appreciate it. <sighs> no problem, girl. Drop by if you're ever in town again, and keep me updated if you find your friends or if you if you hear from April. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything. I God, I don't know why they wouldn't like ask us. Like, what did April say? Hey, Karen here. Haven't seen you around in a few days. Just want to say hi. Hope to see you at the coffee shop soon. Don't talk to the middle of the day. Boo hoo. Do you know Karen? I don't remember. Is she the barista? Did we go to anywhere near Moka Loka? 
Uh, we it was the coffee shop where we met Reza. Uh, maybe. I don't remember how to go home. <laughs> okay, thank God. Hola, sweetie, it's me. <coughs> where are you? Hi, Liv. I'm still in Newport, but I'm on my way home. Any news? Yes, you're going to Japan. Japan. Cool. I did oh, print cool. Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating what he caught. What he caught? Really? My God, that's that's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie. But he was in contact with two people at Wati, one of whom was the dead girl in his apartment. From his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Wati City on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Wati Corp HQ is located. That's that's, that's like saying that Nintendo bar. has created their own island off the coast of Japan. You you yeah. There. You mean Japan? You know, oh. I try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down. I see that happening in like 10 years. Yeah, right. I have to keep going. I, like, it's not I unrealistic. Not now. Not this time. This is too important. If I quit... Is everything alright, Zoe? Yes and no. I'm fine. Or it's maybe closer happening. to, like... As if Things Apple... Well, I don't created their own island. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said... Amazon makes its own island. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Liv. Take care. Amazon would be more evil corporate. More overtly evil corporate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, captions. <laughs> evil boyfriend. Uh... I'm just looking at footage of like in front of the plane. I mean, that's pretty sick. This looks so comforting compared to how flying works now. Yeah. All right. So tell me about the tower. Oh. It is as most things, Azadi, large, wasteful, and arrogant. I have never seen its like. They are building a ladder to the heavens. Maybe it's a temple of sorts. I may not know a lot about the enemy, but they're pretty religious. To call the Azadi religious would be like calling the sun warm. Their faith is all they have. If we shake that, the war is ours. I don't think that's a viable strategy, Chuan. But it's good to know that they have a weakness. Faith is a double-edged sword. This tower of theirs may be another weakness. When I was there earlier, I noticed they were still building. They have put up wooden platforms for the workers to climb. Scaffolds. Next to the tower? On the tower. If one were to climb it, one might find a way into the tower. Perfect. I need to check it out for myself. Whoa. We are design. climbing the biggest I'm tower ever. Weakness of theirs. You will go alone. I need to. <laughs> if there are more of us, it... We are easier to spot. And if you are caught, someone still needs to return to the city with the supplies. That is our mission. That's our mission, Chuan. I'll be back before dawn. Oh, God. Watch your back, Raven. I don't want to do this. So, what Yay. are we doing tonight? We are not doing anything. You're staying here with Chuan. I'm going out. What? You can't go on a mission without us. I'm not going on a mission, Bren. I'm just taking a walk. Right. And that girl didn't ask you for help. Which girl? The one who disappeared. The one from Star... From that place that we can't talk about. She asked for your help, and you just dismissed her. Bryn, you don't understand. That girl Zoe, she was asking for the impossible. 
I left her world behind a decade ago. I swore to never go back and now I can't, even if I wanted to. There are other matters to attend to, other people who depend on me, on us. Whatever it was she was asking for, she'll have to find it somewhere else. Trust me, it's not impossible. I don't agree. If you hadn't risked your life to save mine, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be fighting on your side, and there'd be a lot more Azadi walking around. You took a chance when you killed those soldiers back then, and it paid off, didn't it? I'm alive, and I'm on your team. It was risky, but it was the right thing to do. It's not the same thing. This is our world. Whatever goes on in the other world, it doesn't concern us. I think you're wrong, but it doesn't matter what I think. I'm still just a you kid know for you, a right? fact Brin, Brin. that the people you're fighting against work in Stark too. Right. If there's one thing we have enough of, it's weaponry. What we need more of is food, warm clothes, and medicine. Will you need any assistance tonight, April on? I'll go alone. There may not be a curfew yet, but the soldiers will still notice two or three where they would ignore one. That is true, and I need to speak with someone who can supply us with the herbs, potions, and medicines we need. Well, with Torbear in jail and Hamish doing business with the Azadi, Old Town's our best bet, but it closes with the sun. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. Sounds good, but you'll have to go alone. Shuan and Bryn are taking care of the food tomorrow. Then Rima is helping them get in touch with some sympathizers. So be it. I shall make inquiries in Old Town in the morning. May the stars shine on you and your endeavors tonight, April on. Or what is it you sometimes say? Break a foot? Break a leg. But I like may the stars shine on you better, Na'ana. Okay. Okay. Why does Hamish sound familiar? I don't know. I feel we like were in the second floor of the fucking journeyman in the whole time. Yep. <laughs> okay. I do not like the look of this. And I'd go climb and there's a lot there... more scaffolding than there was before. <laughs> there's a guard right there. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You 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 can beat beat him up. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to beat him up. Halt, citizen. This area is closed. Please leave immediately. I will not warn you a second time. Get out of here. Okay, I need to <laughs> warn him away. His voice. Okay. Um, can I can I just go this way? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Alarm! Alarm! Oh. oh, you got your bow. Bow stone. I love how he yelled alarm, and it's alarm! like Rebel! no one's coming. <laughs> There's a dude right there. They're like, oh, this guy again. <laughs> if if I can't actually do this fight, I'll just reload. Got ah, Jesus. Oh, oh god. Come quickly. Come get me, bitch. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not winning this. I'm not winning this. You got this. I believe uh... in you. I believe in you. Oh. Ah, shit. It's the fucking overhead attacks that I can't really... Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Wait, nobody attacked you. He, like, Wait, ran no. up to me. I, okay. Let's reload. And let's sneak this time. 
He's a sneaky ass little sneaky snake. Or I could talk to this guard and like tell him like, oh, something's going down. You should you should all go. The curfew begins at midnight. Rise. The tower's Rise. closed to citizens. Come back in the morning and make sure. Rise. I have fries. Oh. It's just a shit show out there. He said. <laughs> Oh no. I was, I was very confused for a second. I was like, huh? Is that guard's name is Prize? Oh, wait a second. I can't. This is my sneak. I just walk slower. His name fault doesn't give a shit. What are you doing? Oh. Alarm! I, I just. I just climb. Oh. Do I just need to kill him in time? Maybe. Ah, <laughs> yeah! Kick his ass! Come get me. Come get me, bitch. Oh, he's got me. I, I put myself in a corner. <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that's how he kills you. He just nudges you. Yeah. Okay, I need I need to find an actual way around these guys. <sighs> or I just need to kill that guy faster. Can you see. read ahead and tell me if that's a thing? Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna eat some French fries. <laughs> yeah, it says you need to neutralize the guard. Neutralize? Which means kill. <laughs> you gotta kill him. Uh, it just, just kind of sounds like. I, oh man. Ugh. Ooh, truffle fries. Chocolate fries? No, like with the truffle oil. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> that is. I mean, chocolate fries, I don't think would be bad, since, you know, I am a milkshake dicker, dipper <laughs> type. As some people consider sacrilege, but never That's have yummy. in their life. Yeah. Some places have, like, where it's like a brownie dipped in chocolate, and then you like dip that in other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a brownie oh, fry. That's some good old, good old milkshake fries. I'm just gonna save here. I don't have to run back every time. <laughs> I mean, you're getting better every time. Hello, what sir. Alarm! 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 Easy out. Alarm! Rebels! Okay, come on. Ah, oh, shit. Need some help here! I wanna just do a bunch of overhead attacks and hope for the best. <laughs> Home. He just got home. Oh. Haha, <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> I'm gonna try a couple more times. I mean, you got pretty close the second time. What are you doing? Alarm! Yeah. Alarm! Okay. Come at me. Come at me. I can't I just can't fight him in that little Hello. Need some help here. 
Oh, I totally hit him just because he wasn't looking straight at me. It didn't count. Yeah, just keep heavy attacking. Come on, bud. I, I really, I don't have time for this. Come quickly. Yeah, just keep doing that. I just have to readjust really quickly. Shit. Wait, how, why is he not dying? Did I just- Maybe it's just kind of a lose condition. God damn it. <laughs> God, his poke is so sad. Okay. Okay. I'll just lure him in. And then just do a bunch of heavy attacks. What are you doing? Come here. Alarm. Alarm. I just need him to block once. Alarm. Rebel. I love the way he says alarm. Yeah. Need some help here. Fuck. <sighs> oh, shit. On, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. I should get on with it before someone finds his body. You did it. Save. Save. Uh, yeah, Save. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it won't oh, let me save scene? while I'm so. moving. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you did it. You're such a gamer. It's horrifying. Talented. <laughs> you just have to, like, I think the actual trick is not learning how to do the combat the way they want you to. It's learning yeah. how different enemies want to attack you. <laughs> if your game combat isn't cheesable, is it even game combat? The door is slightly ajar. If I do that, I'm sure to be noticed. You're just supposed to look? How would they not see you? There's no look button. There's literally nothing that I can interact with. E. I have no items. Uh, this is his. He's just supposed to kind of get into a cutscene. The door is slightly ajar. If I do that, I'm sure to be noticed. Hmm. I'm just gonna give it a second to load whatever is happening before I break it again. The door is slightly ajar. Right click to use the focus mode and select the people. That if I do that, I'm sure to be noticed. She keeps her desk clean. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad one. There we go. The delays are out <laughs> of my hands, Prophet. Rebel raids in the north have impeded deliveries of the necessary raw materials, and further reinforcements from Sadir are not.
Of course. I understand perfectly. We will do you? Time. We have taken on more workers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go up to you and we will and you'll understand everything that's going on. The tower will stand ready for the inauguration. I swear by the six that I shall not disappoint you. <laughs> Sadir has sent an apostle to take care of that particular problem. They say that he is one of the best, though I have yet to meet him in person. He arrives soon. Oh yeah, As Keon's coming tonight. I will put my most trusted man to the task. Please, I... Yes. <laughs> you have made that abundantly clear on several occasions. It will not come to that. I will not fail you. All will be as you have asked, Prophet. <laughs> We're not even crouching. May the goddess bless your path, Prophet. We're just hiding behind the pillar. Her light will wash across this world and cleanse it of evil. That was strange. What? I should try and follow her. Find out who this mysterious right, person is. Like I the, the is trying to hide and not doing very well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's you. Sorry, Forte's here. Hi, Bo. <laughs> Hi, Bo. Hmm. Elisa, bring me my supper. I shall be dining in These my people have a lot of child slaves. <laughs> like, yeah. a lot of them. Okay. Hey, that's the man I saw in the emissary's office. I should follow him. I'd like to find out who this prophet is. Nice loading of screen you got there, bud. <laughs> Oh. Why you go in the inn? Why you go in the inn? Hmm. Venrime's burned all the forbidden books, and she's bought a bunch of exotic Venrime. Yes, what is? Oh, eight book. And it returned. Good. Did you want something? Where did the man in the cloak go? Who? The man who just walked through the door. He was wearing a hooded cloak. No one fitting that description has been in here, April. It's a slow night, I would have noticed. That's impossible. I saw him walk in here with my own eyes. Well, I may be old, child, but I am not blind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. I know I saw him walk in here. He couldn't have just vanished. Well... <laughs> Could have taken off their clothes before they came in. Oh! Is it the guy who, like, drugged Zoe? Hmm. Olivia? Yes, Lee. It's me. Are you catching up with me? You the bad weather? What? You're breaking up, Liv. <laughs> Static's getting worse by the hour. Parts of the wire are down. Can you hear me? Barely. This is crazy. I know. We'll have to keep it short. Any news about weather? Not yet. 
but I just arrived in Oh Mississippi. man. What's it like there? You hear nice. that generic Chilling we're in Japan nice. music? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I apologize to anyone in the audience uh, for the racism that is about to happen in this video game. <laughs> yeah, especially from the one merchant that we saw name, okay? that once. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. The encryption's military grade, but I'm almost there. Okay, that's good. I should get going. Oh, and Olivia? Yes, sweetie? Thank you. I really appreciate the help. Don't be silly. <laughs> Friend too. I'd turn the world upside down to find him. I know. Thanks anyway. The connection's deteriorating, sweetie. I'll get back to work and ring you up as God, soon as I have something. Cold French Bye. fries have never tasted so good. <laughs> Just gotta get some cold Frenchies. Some French French fry boys. Ticket machine. It sells tickets to the Watticourt Museum. There's only chewing gum left. I don't even like gum. Every pack comes with a special Watty sticker. Okay, that's something. Yeah, this is just Nintendo World. <laughs> this is a one company town, which means that everyone works for Watty Corp. Oh. automatically incinerates its contents every should be here by now. Uh, what was that? Huh? Uh, come on aside. I thought you were That was the shittiest accent. Come on aside. Who did you think I was? Huh? Oh. My fiance, Yuriko. She's late. She's never this late. I tried calling her, but there was just, just static. Ah, who am I kidding? She probably decided not to come. Why? Yeah, like, what are I'm you doing? I'm sure that's not the case. She was probably just held up somewhere. You don't know her like I do. She's very fastidious. She would have called. No. I have neglected her one time. Oh, jeez. And now she's left me. But I can't wait for her anymore. I have to go. That's my brain when Noah gets held up by an hour from work and hasn't called me. <laughs> He's dead. He's never coming home. <laughs> yeah. He hates me. He was oh, gone well. forever. There's our free ticket to the museum. Yeah. Nice. The dustbin automatically incinerates its Ooh, contents gum. every ten minutes or so. Stick the ticket back together. I'll need to use my mobile to make a purchase. Oh my god. I'll need to use my mobile to make a purchase. Okay. <laughs> it, you saw that, right? It didn't let me. Yeah. A free sticker inside. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. And I imagine that cable car takes us to the museum. Yeah. Ticket. Oh, okay. Forget it's the tick cable car. I suppose that's the only way to get across the canyon. It's the ticket reader for the cable car. We scanned the side with the gum sticker. <laughs> Welcome to Watercourt, inventors of the Watella, the bunny bot. And the most popular and advanced entertainment technology in the world. Please take a seat and stand clear of the closing door. We will be departing shortly. You're about to go on an exciting journey into the heart of Watty Court. 
and experience the amazing history behind one of the planet's most successful corporations. From the Wati Entertainment System to the Watilla and beyond, Wati Corp has provided mankind with love, happiness, <laughs> the West, and, billions of hours of and the Super and in just a Nintendo. Wati will unveil a revolution in home entertainment with the most exciting new product in our 200 year history Project Altera. This is a great time to be part of our ever expanding happy family. Wow. Of entertainment is Giant creepy bright. corporation is making a new thing. Wow. The cost. Enjoy your visit to the Wati Corp Museum. Hey, so do you have a name for me? The name. Told you I'd <laughs> encryption. So, are you inside yet? The line's even worse than before, Liv. I can barely hear you. Hold on. Let me... There. I've switched this over to a classified eye channel. That should stabilize things quite a bit. Of course, the eyes agent software will also light up like a Christmas tree, so we need to be quick. Are you inside Wati Corp yet? Working on it. Add a girl. So, the person you need to get... Why are we, like, texting? Jamie and Kavanaugh, with a C. And an A-U-G-H. And an A-V-A-N in the middle. I don't know. I was in touch with Kavanaugh through Rio Kuruki, the dead girl in his apartment. Rio and Damien work together. I remember Reza talking to Rio on the phone when I last saw him. So Damien Kavanaugh... Oh, shit. What was he saying to Rio? I don't remember. How do I find him? He's a resident of Wati City, but he's not currently on the wire. I believe Wati Corp's shielded. Mobiles won't work inside the main campus. If he's not on the wire, he must be at work. Either that or the static's messing things up. We'll have to bet on the former, since I'm already heading into the lion's den. Where exactly does he work? Don't know. I could dig into the Wati databank, but it might trigger some alarms. And we don't want to trigger <coughs> an alarm. I do know that Rio Kuruki worked as a systems analyst in biotech and that Kavanaugh's in software. I'll keep digging, and I'll send you a message if I find any more info on the guy. We should stick to just messages from now on. This connection's too risky, and the static's interfering with everything else. Okay. I will find him. I have to find him. Good luck, sweetie. And be careful. Shit. Agents have locked <laughs> on. Got to run. Liv? Olivia? I hope she's okay. Okay. Mm. It's that wet, nasty Hokkaido rain. <laughs> oh, it's a big boy. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Exhibit is very expensive. It's not meant to be touched. Hmm. What are you doing? I told him to keep his hands off the exhibit, sir. I apologize for my grandson's behavior. It's a staff only entrance. It probably leads into the main building, which is exactly where I need to be. The original Roll Boy has gone through many design changes mm. in the past century. Mm. These two versions, from 2132 and 20. The Roll Boy on. Touching the exhibits will trigger the alarm. Enjoy your stay at the Wadi Corp Museum, ma'am. <laughs> this is the whole museum. Before a more realistic, gorilla like Wattilla was put into production. This early prototype was tested in limited release. It had many of the same mannerisms as the final Watilla, but it lacked our favorite friend's furry appearance and soothing person. Unlike the Watilla we know today, the prototype was also programmed to randomly wet itself, a feature that what? led to much controversy and frustration. What? Before a more it unlock Okay. Before a more it has uh, unlock uh, okay. Huh. Okay. 
So I've got the Wattilla that can wet itself. Touching the exhibits will trigger the alarm. Uh, an alarm system. Why is this one empty? I love coming to. She's enjoying herself. You want to touch it, don't you, kid? You want to touch it? Set off the alarm. Hi there. <clears throat> Not a big talker, are you? Or maybe you're just shy. Okay. Did you give them the gum? <gasps> That's a wonderful idea. Just, just as a, uh, a thought. Child. Combine gum with child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you yeah. want some gum? Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. Only, only, uh, I'm not supposed to take candy from strangers. <laughs> or talk to strangers. Or look at strangers. It's not really candy. It's gum. Uh, really? Mm, okay. That's... Thank you. It's really good. Now will you touch it for me, child? Touching the exhibits will trigger the alarm. Will you touch will you touch the exhibit for Hello me? Hello again. Please. Still nothing? You have to give me something else? Do you have anything else? I have a lock pick. <laughs> Please, ma'am. Well, I think you're cool, ma'am. <laughs> it's a biometric scanner. Probably linked to some primary authentication mm. mechanism. Like a voice code or an access card. <sighs> mm. Roboid. Design. Roboid. I shouldn't have let her drag me up here. She makes the worst choices. I could have been scuba diving in the Philippines right now. Who's gonna complain about going to an artificial island in Japan? Hello again. Can I like... He looks so much happier now. Uh, okay, um, it says use the scanner, like, just use it, you know, that's kind of a dumb, dumb, stupid thing to do. Doesn't sound like something that I want to do. Hey! That door is for staff only. Really? I'm sorry, I was, um, looking for a bathroom. No bathroom, staff only. Sorry. This is shitty museum. <laughs> the only way I'm getting past that is if Olivia gives me a hand. Oh, we have to leave to call Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently there was a whole ass dialogue with the guy where you can get both of the tickets. Which is um, wild. Huh? <laughs> what? Can I? Oh my god. Uh... Track down our friend Sophia. It's on the fourth floor, section two. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, I hit right click. <laughs> Oh, I had to use my phone. Hey. You again. 
Didn't I tell you? Oops, I told you. Right. It was an act. The next time. What? Wait. Oh my god. Do I just keep pressing? What? Hey. What? What have I said? Hey. Run away! <laughs> you can't keep me here. Flee from the scene of the crime. Yeah, I, I thought my phone was supposed to handle that. Uh, let's see. Use your eye scanner. Got control to resell you would need Olivia's help. So you know it's Olivia. Check the mail and see Olivia's response. The contents on the fourth floor. Olivia updated the mobile to open the door. Uh... Go to the first bunny bot display where Hero the boy is standing. Thank him as well. You can to give Hero the gum. Uh, talk to Hero again. He agrees to distract her. Oh, you gotta talk to the boy again. Enjoying like I said, he thinks you're cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> what? I need you to just. Mm, maybe. Please. Hmm. I am. Because. Okay. <laughs> I'll help. Watch this. God, he's so talented. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. Oh. oh Why is it on? Gojira. Huh? Oh god, I forgot about the hawking. Uh this one. Oh god. Uh you're right. Yeah. Bottom right. No, that's a square, that's a square, that's a square. Uh yeah. Uh wait! Ah Talented. It won't budge. I need to wait until that bot comes back. Oh, fuck yeah. I belong here. Okay. <laughs> really defines her, her booty, doesn't it? Yeah. Please, little Roomba. Thank you, this sir. Is chance. I'll have to hurry. Locked. Such a cool office. Who are you? Are you new? Yes. Uh, yes, I, I just started. Ah, okay. I'm I going love you. to um, the fourth floor to... Well, go on then. Don't waste my time. Also, for your information, they don't like it when you talk to anyone, so don't. You asked me if I was new. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 
Everyone here is so rude. Both nasty. <laughs> just don't, just don't. Hmm. No, nothing. Sorry. <clears throat> what? Sorry. Just I have oh. to. I can't. I can't do this. Dry. <laughs> mm mm. Mm mm. That was the scariest thing this entire game. <laughs> Do not leave the waiting area without an authorized escort. Thank you, and have a fulfilling and productive day. Okay. Keep turning the corner. Oh, what office was it? Um. Fourth floor, section two. What does that mean? Are they like sectioned off or something? Yeah, I think I need to follow that robot. It's closed. It's closed. Okay. Yeah, I have no clue when it's coming Take back. Take it. Yeah, it says you use the hide button on the side of a vending machine or corners. You take a right, a left, a left, and a forward. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wrong side! <laughs> Your honors are on Yes, but that's the wrong side! required to stay behind the line. Okay, it was a right first? Um, <laughs> right, left, left. Ooh. I think I accidentally found it. <laughs> you found it either way. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Can I help you? I'm looking for Damien Kavanaugh. Speaking, well, what do you need? I have clearance to work today. I don't work here. I'm a friend of Reza Tamim's, Jericho. Jericho? Jesus, how did you... Hold on a second, let me just... Oh, he's got one of those split what keyboards. I made sure that this remains a private conversation. How did you get in here? This place is a bloody fortress. I'm getting good at finding my it's way into medical fortresses. It's not though. I'm no. Zoe. Yeah. Damien Cav, uh, you already know who I am, which I find sort of disturbing. I told Jericho that he couldn't talk to anyone about this. Did Jericho send you? I haven't been able to contact him. Jericho's gone. Something's happened to him. But he left me enough info to locate you. He's disappeared. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. 
But what about Rio? She went to see Jericho five days ago. Is she? Um, are you close? We work together. Why? What's happened? I think she's dead. Are you serious? Jesus. I'm in way over my head in this one. I shouldn't have asked her to go. What happened to her? I don't know. I found her in Jericho's apartment. She was hooked up to this white plastic thing, and there were wires going into her head. The dreamer. What? That's what it's called. A dreamer. It's not supposed to kill you. I know. They hooked me up to one. Who hooked you up to a dreamer? Two girls. Twins. I don't know who they work for, but I'm guessing they're connected to your company. I've seen them around. They work for Miss Gilmore, the president. I think maybe they got to Rio as well. And they're after Jericho... after Reza. I was hoping he'd made it here. I haven't heard from him since Thursday. Sorry. Rio rang me when she got into Casablanca and told me she'd met with Jericho. That must have been right before... I found her in Jericho's apartment. And minutes later, the Eye raided the place. I was arrested, but they let me go the next morning. Is there anyone who isn't involved in this? <laughs> this what? I decided to track Reza down in order to help him. He's my best friend. But I don't know what this is or what I've gotten myself involved in. Now Reza's vanished, and you're the only lead I have left. Can you please just tell me what this is? You don't know anything. Only what I've picked up on the way here. Reza never shares his stories with me. I know that Watikort is working on something, and that they've been testing it out on people in Newport. You called it the Dreamer. I'll probably call it after this chapter. probably connected to the static okay. somehow. And that is most likely what Reza was investigating in the first place. And I also know that Watikort is keen to keep all of this under wraps. Keen enough to kill people. Apart from that, I have no idea who you are, what you've told Reza, what Rio was doing in his apartment, and what this dreamer thing is all about. So you're going to have to fill me in, and I'm not leaving here until you do. I've come too far to go back now. If I can't help Reza, at least I want to know why. I want the truth. Right. Well, okay. I understand you want the truth. I wish I could tell you. I'm putting myself at great risk here, Zoe. I don't know who you are. For all I know, you could be working for the corporation. And then again, if you do, I'm already done for anyway, so... You're right about all of it. We, uh, Water Corp's working on something big. The Dreamer. It's a device that'll let you dream anything you've got a mind to dream. Lucid dreams. You're awake and in control. And you just imagine the possibilities. Every other entertainment medium would simply disappear overnight. Why watch a movie when you can dream it? It was destined to be the biggest thing in history, and it was supposed to go on the market in a few months from now. However, about three months ago, something happened. There was a contamination in the network that connects each Dreamer console with a central processor, Dreamcore. I used to work on the network code. The parts Thank that you for the, the high, Drady Gio, I love you. When the problem appeared, my bosses asked me to head up the group charged with identifying the problem on this end to uh. weed out the bugs what we discovered was that dreamnet was beginning to slip out of our control there was a contamination <laughs> but it wasn't the bug it wasn't until <sighs> i'm good i haven't adjusted the eyes on this model yet sometimes, sometimes i get a little sleepy something looking. sneaky and adaptable <laughs> Like it didn't nap. take me long to realize there was a link between the static and our problems. I am a little the sleepy, but not more than usual. Was the effect. Whatever had infiltrated Dreamnet was, for lack of a better word, leaking out onto the wire, causing glitches and system crashes. When I told my supervisors, I was instructed to not ask any questions and to just keep working on the problem. So I did what they told me, but at the same time, I started digging deeper on my own. And that's when I met Rio. She was working with the biological systems that run our code and operates DreamNet, the central processor known as DreamCore. She'd been digging too, and like me, she'd reached an impasse. So we started working together to identify and nail down the contamination. We figured that sooner or later, the static would be traced back to Watercore, and then we'd be out of a job. And besides, it was getting serious. People were dying. So we kept digging. And then one day, about a week ago, 
We discovered something that changed everything. We discovered the truth behind Project Altura, behind Dreamnet, behind the Dreamers. Wadi isn't making these things to entertain people. They're making them to spy on and to control people. Dreamnet was designed to record people's dreams. The Dream Core was designed to analyze them. Wadi Corp can extract private and personal information about anyone who's ever been connected to a dreamer. And that's just the beginning. By feeding data back through the dreamer, they can plant thoughts, instructions, even hypnotic suggestions in people's heads. Dreamnet is the biggest brainwashing experiment of all time, disguised as mindless entertainment. And now someone's hacking into it. What? Uh, oh, right. Exactly. Someone's trying to take control of the network, the most dangerous weapon of all time. Rio and I, we realized we had to tell someone, but we also knew that the corporation would do anything to protect their secret. If we went to the media, we'd be dead. We had to find someone with the guts to expose Wadi while protecting our identities. The hand that bites. Who better to expose this conspiracy than Jericho and his notorious feed? We knew he wouldn't be afraid to go up against Watercorp. So we got in touch, and then Rio went over to Casablanca to meet him. She brought a, a prototype dreamer with her to prove we weren't crazy. We knew the risk, but what else could we do? And now... I, I can't believe Rio's dead. And Jericho. I'm afraid that if nothing is done, this will keep escalating. The static will get worse. Dreamnet will be hijacked or, or the corporation will launch the dreamer. Anyway you turn it, it's bad. Real bad. This is... And you're sure about this, Damien? It sounds like... like science fiction. The people behind it seem to believe that it's possible. And the Dude. dream works. <laughs> I've tried it many times. It's incredible. You people have colonized different planets, but being it's able to hack someone's brain feels like sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Use it again. That's for sure. Not with everything I know now. Is there anything you can do to stop it? I don't know. I've been thinking about it since I first realized what was happening. The static's starting to kill people, and if the dreamer launches, I. I I, I don't want to think about what might happen then. So yes, something can probably be done, but I can't do it by myself. The plan was for Rio to help me when she got back from Casablanca. I don't know who else to trust, so I'm a bit stuck. You can trust me. Yeah, I know, but you're not... I, I can't just ask. Why would you want to help? Why? How can I not help? I may not be any closer to finding Reza. But at least I can do my part in exposing this conspiracy. It's too dangerous. You could get caught. Or worse. If you knew what I'd been through these past few days, you wouldn't say that. Whatever it is you need me to do, I'll do it. Are you sure? Damien, we don't have a choice. This is what Reza was doing. He was taking a stand. He was risking his life to expose Watty Corp. I can't run away from this one. I have to do this. For Reza. For everyone. For myself. Sounds like about like a week ago, ago <laughs> she couldn't get okay. out of bed before 1 sure? p.m. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, well, right. We've definitely arrived in the nick of time. I guess when the world. If we're doing this. We yeah. have to do it now. Just tell me what we're doing. I'm ready. Okay, good. When your best friend so we need is, evidence. you know, we need to know where under, the under is threat. From. And we need to stop the static from mm -hmm. causing any more damage. So how do we do all that? I have to stay here. This is the only place I can access the system from. You, on the other hand. You're going on a long hike into the Wati Caves. What? I'm mm -hmm. sorry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? From the time I open this door, you have 30 minutes to make it down to minus 58. That shouldn't be too hard. At least you don't have to go up. Yet. I'm fit. You definitely look it. <laughs> okay. One moment. Alright, Zoe. So you know what to do. I go down to sub-level 58. In exactly half an hour from now, you'll disengage the alarm. And I'll open the door. 
Remember that once you're through, <gasps> the door will be tagged oh. for maintenance by the security system. Put my feet on the you ground and stop sitting time. funny. Screwed. Fine. I got that. And the rest <sighs> of okay. I got it. All of it. And Good. some water. Keep in mind that I can't call you while we're inside the building, so we won't be in touch until this is over. Best of luck, Zoe. Thanks, Damien. You too. Thank you, Rack. Yeah, let's just run to sub level 58. Oh, oh thank god. <laughs> I have to wait until Damien disengages the alarm. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's those orb guys. First Nasty. off, keep an eye out for spiders. If they spot you, you're toast. Use doorways and ventilation shafts uh. to hide them when they're close. <laughs> Stay quiet and out of sight. And you'll be fine. All right. So in order to get into the dream core itself, you need to find a way into the offices surrounding the core room. And to do that, we have to cut the power to the doors. I can shut down the necessary grids if you can patch me into the closed circuit system down there. Locate and remove the wall panel marked PSA1 and upload the software I gave you directly into the system. The panel is on the outer wall of the hallway, on the opposite side of where you come in, close to the doors to subsection 2. It may be hard to spot, so keep your eyes open. And remember to keep your eyes and ears open for spiders. I want you back in one piece. Okay, so I have to get to subsection. Oh, God. I love how you went from, like, oh, we're huh. just gonna go, like, look for people to, like, oh, we're now infiltrating this corporation. <laughs> I love how the lights. <laughs> Do I sound more tired than usual? Can I? I would like to leave. Ah! <laughs> I would like to leave! <laughs> Jesus. I think you sound more tired. It could be because you're more relaxed because of all the house stuff that's kind of like gotten some stress oh, off. Oh, I'll have to go on the other side. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I I I am pretty tired in general. Uh, but I I did I did finish up some of my like more stressful house stuff. Uh and so I'm like tired but also like a little more chill. I have to make it to the other side and find the panel, right? Um. Uh. uh you're looking for. Yeah, you said it was the opposite side of the way I came in. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you have to enter the door with orange sign with cross swords. No, hang on. Wait. I love you, oh, Ishio. There's a lot going on. Okay. Yeah, I, I started using a different guide that uses a lot more descriptors. <laughs> uh... Wait! Oh. He turned around! <laughs> um, for PSA1. Yeah. And you'll see the panel on the right wall. It'll be like in the middle of some. Okay. Okay. 
nothing's like labeled though. Yeah, you're supposed to like assume what each thing is. Like the blue one is the lab, and the uh, the orange one with the swords is the security office. Uh -oh. It doesn't show me what the panel looks like. <laughs> oh shit! Get there. Oh shit! I can hear a spider. Oh no! And I'm stuck in this animation. screenshot it uses it looks like it's almost like invisible like in the wall like it doesn't look like anything and it's by one of the little hidey holes oh god he like he literally just said like keep your eyes peeled this is a closed oh. environment and that's where the is that hidey hole from? What is it? Like the screenshot literally looks like there's nothing. Like it's like next to one of the hidey holes. God. Fuck. Ah. Switch sides to make sure you just fucking turn around like last time. <laughs> okay. There being a little red glowy in behind you? I think that's the reflection of the door. Oh shit. Can't make it to a vent. Can you send me the picture? Uh, yes. Very small. But I will. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so it'll- it'll get lit up. Okay. Yeah, it'll light up. And it's like next- it's just next to something and it doesn't look like anything. Oh, there it is. There's something in that wall. There's a sliding panel here, and it's marked P.S. Hey, it's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. Okay. You can access the closed circuit system now. Uh. Well, what do I do? If you just go through your inventory and tell it says. I'll just upload Damien's <gasps> software into the closed circuit <laughs> system. There. As soon as you upload the patch, I'll be able to shut off the power to the doors. Oh. After that, Here you should comes. be able to get into the offices. Unfortunately, the door to the core room itself will still be locked. It operates on its own secure grid, and the only we'll get to that later. Now, you need to scan the bio worm I gave you, and before you can do that, you'll find those capsules in the lab. Okay, so we have to go to the lab. Please, 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 please. Go faster. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my. That's a worm. After inserting the worm into the capsule, you need to scan it. You'll also need to scan yourself. The scanners, with my remote assistance, will upload both yours and the worm's DNA into the This will allow you access through the airlock. Bo I'm glad it's doing it like this, it. where it's giving you information one step at a time. Security yeah. employ. 
shit. Which office do I need to go into next? Uh, I think you stay in there. Like, well, you it, have to put the worm in the capsule the, and put it somewhere? The scanner's on here. It was showing me a different room. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Sh I should be able to see it. Uh, two down. Don't it's turn. Open. No! I oh, can access the closed circuit system now. It's the scanner in here. I'm just gonna check. Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> Not allowed. I need to disable the security before going in there. God, just uh, let me move while you tell me that. Jesus. So annoying. Is this where he turns around? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I just whispered, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he can hear us. Oh, I need to go to the biomedical lab. There we are. I mean, this console okay. is locked, and the oh. protection is probably airtight. Without live around, I wouldn't risk trying to access it. Wait. What? I can't tell which direction the noise is coming through. Hmm. <laughs> what if I just open every door? It'll make things so much easier for me eventually. Okay. There you go. Put your specimen in a capsule, stick it in there, and it reads all the relevant biometric data. Put the worm in the scanner. DNA and cellular composition of biological entity analyzed. And cleared for entry. Why are we scanning the worm? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full body scanner. It reads and all my biometric scan data me. and uploads it to the system. Maybe the worm like takes my data, puts it in the system, and then it's like, okay, they they let them do whatever they want. So will the spider no longer be angry? DNA and cellular composition analyzed. After you've scanned both the worm and yourself, you need to locate a key to the core room. The security officer in shift won't be in his office. I'll make sure of that. But Rio told me they always keep a spare key around. That's in blatant violation of security procedures, but it makes our <laughs> job a lot easier. You need to search the security offices to find it. Something that never should be done, but you know. It's fucking dumb of them, but it's good. Please. <laughs> He's gonna eat you alive. I'll just go the other direction. I was like, I'm gonna find a place to hide. I don't need to find a place to hide. I can just, it's a circle. <laughs> Not there. So, are we looking for the break room or like the office to find? We're the we're going to the security office. Uh, I bet this is why the spider randomly turns around, so you can't just do this. <laughs> oh wow! The security in this office is pretty heavy. I'll need to do exactly what Damien told me to do. The security office has an isolated grid that isn't connected to the building systems. If it's on, I'm afraid you're going to have to disengage that too. It can be switched off from the inside by one of the security spiders. Check the cybernetics office. There should be an extra spider in there. Use what? the software <laughs> I uploaded to your mobile to control it remotely. Inside the security office, there'll be a dock where the spider can access the local grid. The spider you'll be controlling won't have the right security clearance, however. So you'll need to find a way to upgrade its clearance. 
If you fry one of the patrolling spiders and download its clearance, you should be able to dock with the security office grid. There's a lady in there. How am I supposed to fry it? Uh, I think you just have to go to the spider that was in that one room and upload it to your phone. But he said to fry one of them. I think it's already broken. Maybe. Hopefully. That was the, the room that I was in that had like nothing in it, right? Except for the, the yeah, fucked up spider. Yeah, there was a little spider in the corner. There was your soul, guys. Whoa, 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 ba little boys. God damn it. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna go in here to wait for it to go by and save. <laughs> um, yeah, let me see. Yeah, so there's still a bit in this chapter. Uh, yeah, I might go to the next spider and then call it there. Yeah. We're like just kind so of we... almost done with this segment. Yeah, just so we don't get like dragged into more shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Damien said that I can control a spider remotely with the software he put on my mobile. Damien said that I can control a spider remotely with the software he put on my mobile. Aw, oh, he's your son! <laughs> yeah, it said he doesn't have the right security clearance. Maybe I use him to fry another spider to get the right security mm. clearance. so slow. <laughs> He's just a little guy. <laughs> He's doing a little dance. I think perhaps I took the long way. <laughs> it happens. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. Eat him. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Your son will pay. Whew, okay. And now I'm still my spider. Fuck yeah. Run around as you please. Can I take more from him? More spiders. Okay. If I never see another one of those, who would be stupid enough to leave a data cube? Okay, who Just is that? <laughs> yes. Just that, I think it's a lady when that, like, if you did office, something it, wrong, we need to get the worm into yell. The, to get to the core, you must pass through the airlock and a decontaminate. From this point on, you'll need to be vigilant. They'll be preoccupied, however. So you yeah. should be able to sneak past them. Go to the lower platform. Insert the capsule with the... After that, all you need to do is stay low and get out. 
I'll cut the alarm to the fire exit at the agreed time, so be- Okay, um... Oh god. I, I don't know if I want to... <laughs> if you want to do that. Uh... Maybe I'll just but... save at the right door, and then... Uh, this is the last thing before, like, you go back, but there might be a long cutscene. I have no idea. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I just I feel like we're going to have like a lot of weird garbage to do. Like we're gonna have to sneak past a bunch of people, and we have four single sentences of objects to do, objectives before a swap. Eh, I I think I'm just gonna call it e either way. Uh. If it It'll is be just a little bit. what we're doing next week. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God. <sighs> okay. Oh. Uh, who is who's who's streaming? Who is streaming? Who can we bother? If you know um, Gauntlet Queen, she's playing Gilbert's too. I follow her on Twitter and keep forgetting to follow her on Twitch. Uh do we wanna go bother Gauntlet Queen? That is up to you. There's nobody else. Um I know where you're streaming. Uh Cran is streaming, playing Pathfinder. Uh, I might, I might bother Cran. Yeah. They have not spoken, but I, I went to their debut and they're really cool. They have like a, a really nice cartoony model that they made. Uh. I don't have a raid message. Have fun. <laughs> the LHF. I will see you guys Friday. I think I'm doing a rigging stream. Ooh. Wah. <laughs>